and I love science. How many of you saw the little salamanders that we had there? Okay? Okay, they're still hatching. Afterwards, you'll still be able to see them hatching. Finding those salamanders in the pond was one of the great experiences of my life because I used to rescue this kind of spotted salamanders. When I was a kid, I'd go to my aunt's house. And have you ever seen people have a basement where they have one of those like holes dug so that you have light coming in? Have you ever seen that? Where yeah. it's called a window well? The salamanders would come out of the pond and they'd fall into the window well. And my sister and I would have to jump down there and rescue them. And some of them became all dried out and mummified before we could rescue them. But now I get to have little babies. And then I'm going to take them back to the pond. Because where, where, wherever you find something wild, it's like you get to keep it for a little while. But then you got to take it back where it can find its food and everything. So tomorrow, I'm going to take it back to its pond in mm -hmm. northeastern Alabama. Won't that be exciting? I'll bring you it back. Over here. Yeah? I must stay here all day. <clears throat> all day? That's exciting. Well, you know what? I've been, I've been hatching all day. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to get to do something that when I was your <coughs> age, scientists knew some of this stuff, but they didn't know all the stuff. Scientists keep discovering more and more things. I write about biology. That's about life. I know biology. Okay, that's really fun. It's about salamanders and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Any of you want, think you might want to be a scientist when you grow up? Okay. I want to go find bones. Cool. I want to be a, a mess. A what? A, a vet. vet. Oh, a veterinarian? I'll be a vet in a nurse. Oh, I already I'm know what I'm going to be. What are you going to be? I am going to change the dance that oh, kind of thing yeah. that there's a certain... He's going to write songs. Oh, you're going to be a musician. No, I'm going to change the songs when, when singers want to change their song when they want a different way how to dance to it. Oh, cool. That sounds very sophisticated. That wasn't around when I was a kid. I couldn't have even thought of being that one. But you know what we were looking at out there today was discovered last June by scientists. A lot of kids had seen those little green egg balls before. Yeah. Scientists have, for the first time, discovered why they're green. And discovered it's the first animal with a backbone. You know, salamanders have backbones, right? Yeah. Just like we do. First animal with a backbone that was in a cooperative relationship with algae, where they needed the algae to produce the oxygen in the sunlight. That's why I have the bowl sitting in the sunlight. Inside those, surrounded by jelly, you couldn't breathe, could you? There's no oxygen coming in. So the algae make the oxygen, breathe it out. The salamanders, the little baby salamanders, breathe it in. And what do they breathe out? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. And what does the algae breathe in? Carbon dioxide. So you get this cycle. And if the algae weren't in there, they couldn't have all that protective jelly around it to keep fishes and stuff from eating it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. OK, let me get started here. This program is called We're All Cousins, and I bet you're going to know a bunch of the science here. Since there's so few of us, no raising hands, when I ask a question, if you think you have the answer, just call it out. And I'll like, just keep like listening. Like you asked, like, um, well, we'll see. What, what color is an alligator green? <laughs> okay, well, how about this? How about this? <clears throat> what kind of butterfly is that going to turn into? Monarch. How do you know that? That's cool. I'm not just guessing. <laughs> Whoa, I used to raise these when I was your age. These two, I found them in the ditch. They grow on milkweed and they form this chrysalis. And I draw a picture, it was just so much fun. Anyway, that's why I became a scientist. Okay, so we're going to journey back through time. Here we are today. We're going to journey back through time. We're not going to get all the way to the beginning of life, but we're going to go back through your great 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 grandparents and your great 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 grandparents. We're going to go back. They died already. Yeah, but how about your great 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 See? Exactly. We're going to be going back all the way back to where you guys and me and everyone in this room share a common great-great-great-great-great-grandparent with the salamanders. On the computer or we're actually going to We're on the computer. Okay, we're going to do it on the computer. So we're going to walk back through time. And the first place where all of us walking back through time find a great-great-grandparent that we share with some other species. Now, how many, how, what's the name of our species of human beings? Uh, what, what are we called? Hey, no. Human Humans? Homo sapiens? Yes. Okay, Homo sapiens. I don't know what those are. One species 
of life today, and we're going to come, and, and you're right, the 6 million, M here means million, okay? So 6 million years ago, our great-great-grandparents walking back through great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great to 6 million years ago, our great-great-grandparent was the same as how many species alive today? Two. Two, two. two species alive today. Guess what they are? Uh, Us and the ape uh, and frog. What kind of ape? Chimpanzee? No. Yes, yes. Uh, and the, so you have two kinds of chimpanzees. One is called the regular chimpanzee, and one <coughs> used to be called the pygmy champions, chimpanzee. Boom, it yeah. can walk on two legs better than the other one. It's called the bonobo. Okay? It looks so, like its toes are going. Yeah, well, it can still hold on to branches. In fact, hold up your hands for a second here. Do you think that if our great-grandparents had never lived in the trees, we would be able to go like this? No. No. This is how we know we used to live in the trees. Our great-grandparents used to live in the trees. Do you think, do you think our ancestors, do you think that our great-grandparents six million years ago, do you think it had feet that looked like ours or feet that looked like this? All right, feet that look like this. Is that exciting to think that your great great grandparents once had feet that look like that? I think that's like totally cool. I think that's like totally cool. I think that's like totally cool. Okay, okay, so six million years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many million years ago do we go to now? How many species? Two. Two, okay. So who's our next closest relative that has two species alive today? Just call, call it out. You know, we've got a long way to go to that. <laughs> Just call it out. It's a kind of ape. What's another kind of ape that lives in Africa? Not a monkey. A kind of ape that's that our next closest relative is big. Gorilla. Yes. Very good. My son's fine. Gorilla. Is she just said I said gorilla. I said gorilla. Okay. Okay, you did. I just said gorilla. So there's two two species of gorillas. There's the lowland gorilla and the mountain gorilla. So how many of you are proud to be related? They're your cousins to a gorilla. Is that exciting? Yeah. I think mean, some of us like it. You know, some of us aren't so sure, but I guarantee somewhere along the way here, you're going to find something you're so yeah, grateful. But if we're the same as gorilla, I think we're strong. Well, we used to be. We used to be. Okay. okay. All right, oh, now, oh how many gosh. million years ago here? Three. No, 14. What, what this number means is that we keep going back through great grandparents until we get, there's, there's no species alive today that we share a great, uh, a great grandparent with any time like 8 million, 9, 10. We have to wait until we get to 14 million. And the next one, it's another species of, it has a hand that looks like this. Is that cool? No. It looks like a dead person here. <coughs> Whoa, that's cool. It's it, a person it, it looks like blood on hand. Whoa. I know. Okay, well that's a good one. It's what? It's like this is like orange. This is an orange colored ape. Oh, 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 you know what? You know what? It's actually not in Africa. It lives in Asia. Um, what was it? Yeah. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Ta da! Orangutan. Okay. Now we've got, as far as apes go, we go back to 18 million years ago, and at this point, 12 species come in. Whoa. Wow. Now this one, I've only had three, I've given this program, I've done this like for three years, right? Only on three occasions has anybody been able to guess what these were without hints, okay? Okay. Well, they're all they're all the same kind of thing, you know, like, like monkeys are monkeys. These aren't any kind of monkeys. I'll give you a hint. Okay, grown-ups and Wes not allowed to answer. Here's the hint. Wes gets the next chance, but because you all might not get it. Here's the hint. Ready? It rhymes. It rhymes with the word ribbon. Given. <gasps> yes. Gibbon. Yes. Gibbon. Monkey. Excellent. No, because apes. It doesn't have a tail. It doesn't have a tail. Exactly. It's an apes don't have tails anymore. Have tails. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so we've just. Anytime you see that we fill, we fill up a whole chart like this, means we finished something, and so we have to celebrate it. So we've gone through five different confluences here. We've gone through all the apes all the way back, or fought four, to 18 million years ago, and it's time for a song. 
So I'm going to say it's C to 4 here. Oops. Uh oh. Very good, very good. Okay. I did. Okay, so the first one is chimpanzees and, and bonobos. The second one is African gorillas. And the third one is And the fourth one is Right, Malaysia. This is part of Indonesia. Okay? So here's how the song goes. I'll sing it through once and then you can join me. And then we're gonna keep getting these verses all the time when we celebrate our ancestors. Chimpanzee, bonobo, African gorilla, Asian orangutan, gibbons of Malaysia. These are our tailless ape relatives. These are our tailless ape relatives. Join me. Chimpanzee, bonobo, African gorilla, Asian orangutan, gibbons of Malaysia. These are our tailless ape relatives. These are our tailless ape relatives. Are there, did our great-grandparents have to live with any dinosaurs at that time? No, uh, no. no, they were already extinct. How many species come One, in? Like 100. Oh. I have a lot of cousins. Okay, 100 all come in at the same time. We all share great-great-grandparents. Now we're turning, I'm going to model for you. Anytime that any of you are to uh, volunteer to read a script. See, I've got more here. Uh, this is how it'll go. I can't read. That's okay. <laughs> we, we need some people who can't read so that the rest of us have an opportunity. So I'll do the first one here. And the thing is, is that anything you see in red, yes. you don't read out loud. Okay? See? What, look for the red. Red? Red. You don't read out loud. It just tells you the answer because you're going to be doing the guessing what game. The blue? Oh, blue just tells you what number this is, but the black stuff is what you read. So, again, here's the red. Tells me who I am. So here I go. Hello, all you apes. I'm not an ape, but I'm still primate. Guess who I am? Monkey. Gorilla. Monkey. No, we already did gorilla, remember? Right. Okay, we got monkey. How many species of monkeys? Okay. Okay. Yes, I am monkey. My group includes the 100 kinds. I this here because while you're reading, I'm going to be able to do this too. My group includes the 100 kinds of monkeys who live in Africa or Asia. Among us are the baboons, mandrels, langur monkeys, and me. So here we have Africa and Asia. All the monkeys live in these two places, at least the ones we're talking about now. I don't know what that is. And who is this? A monkey. A langur. Ooh, that, I know what you're thinking of. It does have like a long white tail, a really beautiful lemur. But we're, we're not in lemurs yet. This is still monkeys. Okay? So this is, I actually have been to a zoo where I've seen this one. This is a veggie monkey. It eats, it eats plants. Oh, yeah. It's, it, look how beautiful its tail is. Isn't that lovely? It's a squirrel monkey. It's, 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 a it's, it's called a, it kind of sounds like, um, well, it's called a, Oh, three syllables. Colobin. Colobus. It's called a colobus monkey from um, from Africa. And so I go, my group has asked me to speak to you because I have the prettiest tail of all. It's fluffy. <gasps> it's just so beautiful. But what about all you apes? Everybody in this room looks to me like an ape. Let me, let me have a look at you. Please stand up and turn the other way. Grown-ups, you don't get out of it except the video camera guy. Okay, turn the other way. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. You can sit down now. Why did evolution take away your tails? Why did I have got this beautiful tail? The only thing you have left is a useless little tailbone. How many of you have ever fallen on your tailbone? I bruised my tailbone. Did you? Look at practically all the adults. Have any of you lived up, grew up in the ice country? Yeah, you did definitely. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so here evolution has left you.
you with a useless little tailbone. But you don't have a tail anymore, and it breaks really easily when you fall on your butt. How ridiculous. I love my tail. I am Columbus Monkey. Okay, so now you can clap for Columbus Monkey. Thank you. Okay, so we go to the next spot. How many a uh, million years ago? Forty. How many species come in? Okay. Volunteer. Okay, Sydney, you want to come up here? Okay. And the volunteer gets. Oh, here, move back a little bit here. Volunteer gets to stand right in front of me. And so, if you need any help, now remember, you don't read the red. This tells you who you are. Okay. See, this is the different thing. Before here, you were. Was this group? Now you're here. Okay, so you just read the one. Hello cousins. Okay, I am a monkey too. There are nearly 100 kind 100 kinds of monkeys in my group. None of us live in Africa or Asia. Guess what continent we live on? Hey. Oh, shoot. Just say it. Oh, shoot. I said Asia. 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 Okay. Give a clue. 
Here's a clue. My name rhymes with the thickest bone in your leg. Rhymes with the thickest femur. bone. Femur. 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 We got it here. Femur. Excellent. Okay. Some are colored red. 
Why is this one colored red? Because cut it the one digit number. No, Ooh, it's, that's it's that's a cool. double digit. No, it's it's a carnival. Oh, is that a good? No, you know. It's a carnival. That is, a, except we've had a couple earlier ones. Confluence number one and confluence number four, four were red. Because um, they were carnivores? Well, that's a good response. No, nope. they've all been veggies, I think, thus far. Though they eat worms and <coughs> Guess again. Um, I'll get, oops. <coughs> What's the first letter? Why did you do that? She told me. Okay, there we go. Okay. Here's a clue. Who was the one who got excited reading this, how, how big this was? Who, who, who was that that did that? A couple of you got excited? It has something to do with why you got excited. It has so many, it has so many. Relatives. The population is big. Okay. The thing is, what's this number down <coughs> here? 275. What do you think that means? A bunch. That many of us? What does it mean? Why is it down here? That's how many species we have. Where? It shows how many species. Yeah, but where? How many species where? Of trees. No, there were tree shrews. Of, what were there? Of any species. Every species we've <coughs> done thus far. I got right? Right. Remember there were 100 monkeys? There were 100 gibbons. How many does that make? 200. And then all the rest added together, the two chimpanzees, two orangutans, however many lemurs there were, and the tree shrews all come up to 275. So any time those of us all traveling together, because we all travel together, the stream of life, they keep adding in here. We've got the tree shrews, and everybody's exploring back our common ancestors. Every time that when we meet a new group coming in of living species that we're next related to, if there's more of them than there are of us, it's called it's a red thing because we're joining them. They're all on this journey going back through their red grandparents. Great grandparents, great grandparents, and they're all joining up, and they're all joining up, and then they then they all come together with us. Good. Okay. So who wants to volunteer to be read number ten? Who hasn't Colin. done it yet? Um, Color. Do you want to come forward? Okay. Shut up. Okay. All right. So here we are, number ten. Hello, cousins. I'm a tiny mammal. So I'm a tiny mammal. 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 I'm a tiny Okay, so my name rhymes with the kind of building that humans live in. House. Right? First down came to me was mouse. It. It. <laughs> Got it. Mouse. Mouse. Got it. Okay, let's get a picture there. Yeah. Yes. Mouse. Yes. I am mouse. I read to me. I read to me. I can't hear him. We used to be told. back through time. So from now on, there's going to be 
Oh, however, 2,070 plus 275 are? Great, okay, I can't do that in my head, but excellent ones. Okay, filled out the screen, time for us, oops, this is cool, I forgot this. I took this picture myself at a zoo. This is the largest rodent in the world. It's, now, there have been bigger rodents in the past who are extinct. This is the largest rodent in the world. I've seen that. You have? It's do you know the name? The giant guinea pig. I think that. It starts with a C. Guess what it's continent? A couple. A couple. A couple. It's a couple. Dragon? A couple. Oh, you're thinking Komodo dragon. Oh, you're thinking Komodo dragon. That's a They are big, too. Continent. Let's get the continent right. The same continent guinea pigs come from. I'll show you. No. I just Same continent. <coughs> Same continent as yeah. spider monkey comes from South America. Yes, yes, South America. <coughs> and its name is Catabara. Right. Yeah. Oh, and that's the biggest rodent in the world. Okay, I'm going. And <coughs> tree shrews who live with the Cretaceous dinosaurs grow in rabbits who. Ready? Their great 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 grandparent lived 
on a supercontinent called Laurasia. Now, where's North America here? Actually, can anybody see Georgia here? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to go up and point to Georgia? Show us where Georgia is. Yeah, but stay out of the, keep your shadow out. Just po point your arm up. Actually, I'll give you a hint. Here's Florida. Oh. Right. And then this part here is, is Mexico starting to form here. And here's where I used to live. Up in what, what state is this? Alaska. Alaska. And if this is North America, what's over here? Asia. Asia. Europe and Asia. Asia. Eurasia. Okay? Now, can anybody tell? So this is 85 million years ago. Was there an Atlantic Ocean 85 million years ago? No. No! The Atlantic Ocean hadn't been born yet. Isn't that cool? And you know what? When I was your age, scientists didn't know that. Because they didn't discover what's called plate tectonics until about 1966. Okay. What continent is this? Uh, South America. South America. What's this? Africa. Africa. What's this little island? Australia. 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 No, this little tiny one right there. Oh, it's got Madagascar. Madagascar. Okay. What's this? Australia. What's this? Antarctica. Oh, wait, wait, that's not Australia. This is Australia. And this is Antarctica. Who's this? Nobody ever guesses this right. Mexico. No, I know Greenland. I know Iceland. Play tectonics. Continents oh, oh, break apart, move apart. I'm going to give you a hint. Starts with an this eye. Thing is gonna, this thing is going to cruise. I mean, England? No, it's no. Iceland or Greenland. It's going to cruise north, and it's going to smash into Ireland. this continent and make the, the tallest mountains on England? Earth. England? The tall, what are the tallest mountains on Earth? Mount Everest. Okay, oh, and what are they part of? The Himalayas. Yes, the Himalayas. No, no, there's another. Himalayas. Oh. I know, but there's another mountain that's taller than Mount Everest. What's that? I don't know. It's not in the movie because it's so hard. Something like that. They're, they're, they're all up there. Okay, so it's going to come cruising north by plate tectonics and smash and create the Himalayas. What country is that? <laughs> India. 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 Who got that? 